Hello, I'm Ron Charles. You may know me, or someone like me, but not as brilliant. Today we have some exciting news from the high priest of the book industry in a long overdue move. Publishers Weekly has named P.D. James as Publishing Person of the Year. The 92-year-old English writer, beloved around the world for her clever detective fiction, Ron, is a... What? It's not P.D. James, it's E.L. James. Who? Hello, I'm Ron Charles. You may know me, or someone like me, but not as dangerous. Today we're thrilled by some exciting news from the dominatrix of the book industry. In a painfully overdue move, Publishers Weekly has named E.L. James as Publishing Person of the Rear Year. It took real courage to pass over such literary giants as Carlton Malick, the author of The Haunted Vagina, or Dr. Charlie Shedd, who taught us that the best dad is a good lover. Who can really grasp how much E.L. James has done for the literary arts? Publishers Weekly, that's who. They managed to look past the skin-deep issues of originality, significance, or quality, and see what matters. Cold, hard cash. No shades of gray here. E.L. James, who saw what so many lesser artists missed. That she could sink her fangs into the derivative clone models of Stephanie Meyer's Twilight books and make them <laughs> like the Marquis de Sade on speed. Holy jumpin' Jehoshaphat. It's a little-known fact of literary history that until E.L. James posted her stories on a fan fiction website, no one had ever written about sex before. But once she illuminated the mysteries of pleasure, suburban women couldn't get enough of your typical 22-year-old virgin and the mysterious billionaire who liked to humiliate her during sex. And so, for all the unspeakable things she's done to the publishing world, E.L. James is truly the publishing person of the year. Laters, baby.